<laughs> What's going on, mobile gamers? Today I'm going to show you guys how to play your PC games on your Odin 2. So let's jump in and level up our gaming knowledge. All right, mobile gamers. So what we're going to be utilizing is a program that you see on screen right now called Sunshine. We're also going to be utilizing another program called Moonlight on our actual Odin 2. These two programs combined will allow us to stream our games from our desktop to our Odin 2 or any other Android device that is. It works really well in my opinion, but that all depends on also your router and how many devices you have connected to your Wi-Fi at any given time. So if you have millions of people on your router, you might want to get a secondary router just for streaming games. And yes, you can do that. You don't need an internet connection for this to work. You just need a router that has the ability to actually allow you to stream all of your devices to every device in the house. Now that you've navigated over to this website that you see here, you're going to go all the way down to where it says releases on the right hand side there and click on the latest release, which is version 0.21.0 as of today and click on it. You're going to scroll all the way down until you find the installer, which is the Sunshine Windows installer right here. It is only 17 megabytes, and in the end, it's about 65 megabytes total to install all the information. So click on that and let it download. Now we're going to install it by clicking on the actual download and install it. Click Agree, click Next, name it whatever you'd like. I'm just going to leave it named as Sunshine. Click Next again. Now, don't uncheck any of these. We need to install some of the drivers that are in here. So click install and let it do its thing. Now on our actual Odin 2 again, we're going to go over to the Google Play Store. We're going to type in Google Play called Moonlight. Click search, click install. Let it install, click open. And it's going to search for your computer on your network. So again, you have to be on the same network and there's my computer right there. If you don't know how to access that, just send a comment or a question in the comments. I will let you know how to access that on your router. But there are lots of videos to show up your other devices if they don't show up. There's also an info tab that you can actually look at to actually see how to do that. But I'm not going to show you that today. Now that we're done installing Sunshine on our computer, we're going to click Finish. We're going to go to our Search tab. And we're going to search for Sunshine as the application. As you can see here, it's already there. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to open up a web browser. We're going to click on Advanced. We're going to click Proceed to Local, so local Host, which is saying that it's unsafe, but it's really not. Now we're going to type in a username and password. This is going to be generic to you. So make sure you remember this and don't lose it or do some dumb password that you're not going to remember. Click Login. Let it do its thing. Don't click log in again and get excited. If it doesn't do anything, then you can just do that. But let it log in and do its thing. Now we're going to go to configuration. We're going to go to audio and video. Go all the way down to save. Click apply. Let it restart and do its changes. The reason why I do this is because for some reason, if you don't do this, the audio sometimes is buggy. Input, go down to save. Click apply. And let it do its thing. Keep doing this until we go all the way down the configuration to general and it's all done. Now you can set up your resolution and everything right here, your FPS to a max FPS. I don't touch any of this stuff. It doesn't really affect me. So that's all up to you. Mapping the right alt key, you can set that up as well. But on our device using moonlight, we're just gonna use the home or the back button to get out of moonlight if we need to. On Moonlight on our device, we're going to click open again, click open, close it all out, go into Moonlight, and let your computer pop up on the bottom of the screen. As you can see, I have two different icons here that are showing up, and for whatever reason, I'm just going to delete that PC, and the new one's going to show up. I'm going to click on that. It's going to give me a pin, so 2339 is the pin. The pin might be different for you. Now back on our PC, we're going to go to the top left hand side, click on pin, and we're going to type in that 2339 pin. Click send. Now on our device, we'll be able to access that computer. I'm going to open up Steam on my computer. This is where all of my games are located, which is on 
my Steam library. I'm going to click play. I'm going to close down Steam by just minimizing it. I'm going to navigate down to the right hand side of my where my volume rocker is here on the right hand side of my computer. So I'm just going to close out my device. So right on the bottom right hand side, open that up, go to your settings icon, make sure that you have Steam BS Steam streaming speakers set. If you have a microphone set, your speakers or your sound won't come out of your device. I'm going to do something with my device here so that we can actually hear it as well because I have a HDMI cord plugged into this so that we can actually hear the sound that's coming out. Make sure your volume is all the way up as well because you can just use your volume rocker on your actual Odin 2. Now that you have all that set up, don't open that page. I don't know what I just did there. Click play on your game. Now, on our actual Odin 2, I'm going to open up my game. It's going to bug out for me because I have everything connected via my HDMI cable. But as you can see, I'm able to actually navigate through the game with my controller of my actual device. So I'm going to click quit, click confirm. I'm going to go over to my drivers and you can see that I have BS set up. Now I have my Bluetooth headphones in. You have your Bluetooth headphones in, take them out. I'm also going to unplug my HDMI cable so that you guys can actually hear the sound coming out of the device. So I'm going to navigate back on my computer. You can see my mouse on my computer on my device. We don't really need to see me playing on the computer right now. I'm going to click play, minimize this. I had a little bug because I was plugged in via my HDMI cable. So make sure you set that volume or that device for your volume to be that BS steam output. And as you can hear, the volume is like coming out of, of my game console. I don't know why I just talk like that. And you're able to actually just play it the way you want. Now, this is, again, streaming your desktop to your actual Odin device. This would be good for maybe laying in bed and maybe your office is just next to your bedroom or something. You want to play some Fallout 4 on your Odin 2, for example. As you can see... It plays decently well. You might see a little bit of lag every once in a while. But streaming wise, if you don't have a bunch of devices connected, you'll be able to play and enjoy playing games that you couldn't normally play on your Odin 2. That's about it, guys. It is a little bit stuttery. I think that's actually my computer as I'm looking at my computer right now and it's stuttering on it for whatever reason. Maybe it's just because I have so many programs opened up. But that's it. I hope that helps you guys get set up with Moonlight and Sunshine. Sunshine on your Odin 2. Have a nice day. I'm going to try to figure out why it's stuttering so much on my computer. It's not stuttering on the game itself on my Odin 2. I'm out of here. See you next time. Bye-bye!